Today's review, we've got a brand new beer from a brand new brewery that we've never had on the channel before. And according to Ian at Prost Bottle Shop, is the number one UK brewery at the moment. So what's it going to be like? This is Nothing Bound and their Palau Size of the Moon. But what's it going to be like? Keep watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're reviewing this beer by the brewery Nothing Bound. And these are a brewery based in Worcestershire, in Budley in Worcestershire. Quite striking can art, something a little bit different. There's a sort of local artist that's involved in this. As I say, right size of the moon, it's a Palau, 5%, Nelson Sorvin and Mosaic. And I got this one from Prost Bottle Shop. And as I said in the intro, uh, Ian, the owner of Prost Bottle Shop, said to me that he thinks that Nothing Bound are the best brewery in the UK at the moment. And that's a, that's a very big claim to make. He did put a caveat on it saying that he's had, that all the IPAs he's had from them have been absolutely stunning. But they, and they sell out so quickly because he's a big, he recommends them to obviously his customers. Um, but this is a Palau. So I'm pretty much the guinea pig to see whether this is up there with some of the best Palau's around in, in, in the country at the moment. 5%, Nelson Sorvin and Mosaic, good selection of, of hops. I had an IPA with uh, Nelson Sorvin and Mo Mosaic in it. There seems to be quite a good combination. They're quite at different ends of the spectrum, I think, Mosaic and, and Nelson Sorvin, but together, they usually come together and make a great beer. Uh, the other thing to say, 500 mil can. Love breweries that make beers in 500 mil cans. So let's crack it open, get it in the glass, and see if this could be one of the best Palau's that we've had this year. Well, let's see, shall we? I mean, when it comes to Palau's, I mean, I'm a big fan of IPAs. Palau's, I like Palau's. If I'm going to a, a, a pub or, a, you know, a craft beer bar, I usually will drink a Palau because I'm probably going to drink more than one. But if I'm in the house, I prefer to just have a couple of IPAs of a night because I just, they usually got more flavour, the body's better. The one company that I think, the brewery, I should say, makes the best parallels are the ones that I, I think are the best parallel makers are these guys, the Polly's on the back there. Yeah, you can see them there. I buy a lot of parallels from Polly's and they are really good. I mean, their IPAs are great, but their parallels, I think, are very close to being IPA like, it's certainly in their sort of profile. But anyway, enough about Polly's, let's talk about nothing about. Well, this beer in a glass, I'd say it looks pretty damn good. Lovely yellow color. We've got literally a sliver of white head there that probably won't stick around. Very hazy, very sort of opaque in its sort of, um, its looks. Yellow, golden, almost custardy colored really. It's, it's what I'm looking for when it, when it comes to a beer, whether it be an IPA or a pale. Um, certainly looks the business in the glass. Let's see what the aroma's like. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely that Nelson Sorvin aroma that you'd expect, that sort of gooseberry, grape, lots of very bright citrus sort of notes. I'm not picking up much from the mosaic. It's very much on that sort of New Zealand Nelson Sorvin, very distinct aroma of like those gooseberries and grapes there's a bit of melon in there there's guava in there there's lemons and limes and there's grapefruit i'm not picking up the sort of bubble gum the maybe the sort of more tropical mango notes that you get from mosaic but let's see what it tastes like cheers everyone tastes spot on flavor wise it's all about the Nelson for me. Lots of those sort of big gooseberry and citrus, very bright, zesty sort of notes, flavours. The mosaic is a little bit lost in the mix, but there's lots of flavour. You're getting a lot from a 5% Palau, there's lots of flavour in there. Where it's, I suppose, more Palau-esque and less IPA-esque is the... It's quite thin in terms of its body. The carbonation is quite prickly. Um, it's not soft. I wouldn't call it soft, really, in terms of its mouthfeel. It's got a sharpness and a zest. And the sort of that prickly carbonation gets those flavours moving around really quickly. It's a very 
what I would say a very sort of typical Palau in terms of its sort of profile. Um, but it's good though, there's lots of flavour in this. I mean, that's the thing, you can get some really, some of the really poor Palau's are like, almost they taste like a watered down beer, especially if you drink IPAs, but this has got a lot of flavour. And it's the sort of beer that you think, yeah, I could drink quite a few of these, even though 5%, I mean, 5% is, I suppose if you drink lager, 5% is a premium, higher level sort of lager, really, especially in terms of the sort of, your normal sort of um, pump lager that you find in pubs. But for a craft beer, 5% is low. We've had craft uh, parallels at a 55 Polly certainly have a few that are like, I've got up to like 5.6, 5.8. Um, 5% is probably about the right level really for me for a pal out. But this is a really refreshing, zesty, well put together beer. Yeah, I like it. There's a sort of, there's an almost sherbetty sort of aftertaste on it. You drink it down and you get in that, that sort of white grape gooseberry, big Nelson soy flavours up front. And then as it slides down, you're always getting a tingle. Again, whether it's from the carbonation, but it still has a tingle, like a sherbetty sort of flavour. And it's really, really, really pleasant. Yeah, I can't stop drinking this. Really good beer. I think it's difficult because Palau's, they've got it for me, they've got to come up to Polly's, and this isn't quite there. But you can tell it's a well put together beer. It's it's brewed in a very sort of competent way. I mean, that sounds a little bit sort of a bit, bit shit, really. But it's a very competently brewed beer. It's well sort of structured, well balanced in terms of an uh, parallel. And it's a very drinkable beer. The flavours there, all the flavours you expect from Nelson. I suppose a little bit disappointed they. There's not as much of that sort of mosaic flavour. You're not getting any, I'm not getting any berry and bubblegum, that sort of flavour that's very distinct with mosaic. But maybe it's just that I'm really enjoying the Nelson Sorvin. Sometimes I can have Nelson Sorvin, especially in an IPA with just Nelson Sorvin. It's like, it's a little bit too dominant. You get that savoury note coming in. You're getting too much of that sort of grape and that sort of melon, that sort of very sort of... Um, well, very New Zealandy flavour, but although there's no, dis, no, no, there's no reason in that there's no that the Nelson Sorbonne is not in this beer. It's just really well put together. It's just really pleasant, you know. It's just considering it's got most of the oomph of Nelson Sorbonne in it. It's it almost brings a slightly different, a lighter touch to it, a brighter, zesty, and the same a sherbetty sort of flavour. You get more of the the very bright citrus fruits in there. You're not getting huge amounts of of, of bitterness. I mean, I've just come back from from a from a local uh, uh, craft beer shop or craft beer pub, I should say, um, and I had a, an overtone beer. I can't remember the name of it, but it was there was much more grapefruit in that. This has got. All that sort of citrus fruits, but grapefruits just subtle in the background. I think it's very good. I am going to make a point of trying to get one of their IPAs and seeing how good they are. But this is a very good beer, Nothing Bound. Have you had anything from Nothing Bound? It's not a brewery that I've seen before, I've heard of before, certainly never drank before, but it's certainly a one that is gonna be on my radar now. And I'm looking forward to seeing what the IPAs are like from them, because if Ian from Pross says that they're great, you know, I've got to get, I've got to believe him. I know, I know that a lot of the craft beer that he drinks are very much like the sort of beers that I like. So I, I rely on his judgment and I will have to try it again. So Size of the Moon, 5% parallel from Nothing Bound, um, based down in, uh, in Worcestershire in the Midlands. And yeah, it's a cracking beer. Let me know if you've had anything from Nothing Bound. Let me know if there's any new breweries that you've had recently and you thought, God, I don't see many of them reviewed by YouTubers. I don't see many of them in, in, in pubs. I don't see many of them in, in bottle shops. But I've had one beer from that one company and you think, these could be the next big Verdant, Polly's, Daya, those sort of breweries. So let me know in the comments what you think. But this is a good beer and definitely recommended. So let's get some scores.
Okay, the scores are in for this Nothing Bounds Size of the Moon. It's a pale hour, this black and white. I suppose there's a slight, you know, science fiction-y sort of... Um, well, obviously there's a moon on it. I can see the moon is there. Um, yeah, and it's, it's it's by a local artist. The writing is a tiny. I can't even, I won't even try and read that. But it's in a big 500 mil can. Uh, Price-wise, I think it was, I think it was under a fiver as well. So pretty good value. But let's go through the scores. Starting with aroma. Appearance. Flavour. Value for money. My overall experience and tighten those scores up. Yeah, it's a very respectable, a recommended, but the high end of the recommended scale score off. Definitely worth watching. Nothing bound. Check them out if you see them in your local bowl shop. Hope you've enjoyed this review. Uh, I've got a few more very interesting beers. Got some US beers that I'm quite excited to be drinking. Um, so keep uh, keep keep watching the channel. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell, then you'll know as soon as those those reviews drop. I'm a little bit sporadic in terms of the reviews at the moment. I'm I'm not doing three or four reviews a week. I'm doing slightly less just because I'm, I'm just been busy with lots of different other things uh, going on in my life at the moment. But you don't care about that. You want to see more beer, so hopefully we'll get more beer and a few more music um, videos coming up. Until the next one, though, you know what you do. Drink good craft beer and keep on rocking.